Hey, what's up? It's Matt in Japan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at Deluxe Class Soundwave from the Reactivate 2 pack. Now I did buy this just as a loose figure. I do not have the Optimus Prime that he does come packaged with. I was only interested in the Soundwave because I do love a good Soundwave in my collection. So yeah, I was always very curious about this figure, so decided to take a look. So before we get into his details, let's take a quick look at the accessories he comes with. He does come with his iconic blaster here, which is done in a sort of navy blue with some nice silver paint at the end there. And this does not come apart. This is just one molded piece. So yeah, not bad. It's his classic weapon there that he can just easily hold in his hand like so. And then he does come with his shoulder cannon, which is a little bit measly. I mean, compared to like the sound waves you've seen in the past, you know, his shoulder cannon should be like a, a nice big like rocket launcher type size. But yeah, it's not bad. It does have some nice molded detail. Um, and there is some um, articulation on this. It says on a peg here that does go back and forth. And this does plug in right on his right shoulder there, like classic sound wave. So there it is. I'll just leave that in there for now. I will take away his weapon. And let's pause and get into Soundwave's details. Okay, getting into Soundwave's details here. First and foremost, we're gonna take a look at the head sculpt. I did think they did a really bang up job on this head sculpt. It's very nice. A very nice stylized version of the G1 Soundwave. Um, you do see some very nice sculpt work on the face mask there, done in silver paint. There are some red eyes in there. It's a little bit hard to see, but um, yeah, I think they did a really nice job on the head sculpt there. You see the shoulder cannon there. Now you do see the chest here, which is outlined in a nice gold, sort of yellowish gold paint. You do see the Decepticon logo there. It's a little bit scratched up, um, but this does not open. The chest part does not open uh, like a typical Soundway figure does, but there's some nice uh, red accents, black, uh, red down here on the chest. You get some silver on the hips, silver on the arms. And actually um, there is some nice detail on this figure. I really do like the detail and the sort of stylization of this. Uh, going down his legs, there is some silver paint on the legs, mostly done in black and that sort of navy blue there. You get some nice sculpt work on the side of the legs there. Um, now he does have a huge backpack. We're gonna talk about the, the sort of goods and bads of this guy. He does have a honking backpack there. Um, and that is how he looks from the back. Now there is no real hollow spaces on this guy. Everything's pretty filled in and he feels pretty good. He feels pretty tight, although sometimes the backpack does come unclipped and it can be a problem. But yeah, look at that. That's just a huge backpack. So speaking of like the pros and cons, I think for a figure, it it's, looks really cool and I like how like stylized it is. Um, but if you look at it, just like a full sort of robot mode shot there, his legs do seem a little bit skinny. His upper body seems really beefy and his legs seem a little bit skinny. So I think the proportions are a little bit off. Um, and again, he does have that honking backpack there. So, you know, he doesn't really have any problem like standing up. I mean, he does stand up pretty well. So, you know, there's no real like balance issues or anything, but if you look at the side view there, the profile, I mean, the backpack is just massive. So I do think they could have sort of alleviated some of this maybe into the, into the legs or somehow, I don't know, but that's the way it is. So I would say, you know, overall it's a very cool looking figure i do like it just the proportions are just a little bit off so just for some comparisons here i'll bring in another sound wave this is the earthrise sound wave here so you can just get a quick look at how they scale and they're pretty much the same height i think the earthrise sound waves is a little taller um but i do like you know i just you know sound, our image of sound wave is just like beefy and blocky and square and stuff and this guy is although he's very stylized um just the proportions are a little bit off, so not too bad. So bring uh, uh, the, uh, that sound wave and then bring in just a Earth Spark Deluxe Class um, Starscream there. You can see just how he scales. So a little bit bigger than the Earthrise Deluxes, a little bit smaller than your main lines of Earthrise Deluxe Class figures. So uh, let's pause and we'll get into this guy's articulation. Okay, articulation for this Deluxe Class sound wave is actually pretty good. Um, his head is on the ball joint. It can look up that much. It can look down that much. Um, you get a little bit of side to side. It, it is on a ball joint, but you got to be careful. Don't, I, I can, you can do about 45 degrees. It can look side to side, but I just tried spinning it all the way around and it does get caught on these sort of tracks on the side of his head. So please be careful. Don't try to spin his head all the way around. It will get caught in this sort of cavity right here. So anyways, there's some nice articulation on the head there and the arms are on ball joints right there. So you have full motion, range of motion. You got all the way around, you got in and out. You got the hinge there. You got about 90 degree at the elbow. There is articulation on the fists. They do go all the way around, which is very nice. And moving his arms out of the way, 
He does have a full uh, waist swivel, which is very nice. It doesn't get hindered by the backpack. The backpack sits up high enough so it does not get hindered. He can do almost the full splits. His arms, I mean, his legs do not go out. They are on hinge joints right here, actually, uh, which is kind of rare for, you know, for kind of modern day figures. We either see like ball joints or, um, you know, like hip rotation stuff there. So he doesn't have so much uh, split movement. He can kick, let's see his kicks here. He does have the Chuck Norris high kicks. Bah! And then he does have the back kick about that far. Um, he does have an upper bicep. Well, uh, there's a mushroom joint right there. So he has some swivel right there. And he does have over 90 degrees because of transformation. And then his uh, legs do have the ankle rocker tilt about that much. Um, nothing really on the toe. So yeah, he's pretty decent pretty decently articulated this guy and I actually have got him in some pretty cool poses so that is about it for the articulation let's get this guy transformed see what his alt mode looks like okay so for Soundwave's transformation pretty easy not a whole lot going on pretty straightforward first thing you want to do is we're going to start with the legs here you're going to turn the legs all the way around 180 so the back is facing the front there on both sides there let's see if I can get it up close and then you're going to take these latches and just unhinge them for now and I really do uh, love this design, how the um, the wheels kind of fold over and they fill in those hollow spaces. So anytime that happens, it's really cool. So those just are on a hinge there. You just want to hinge those down like that and take these and hinge them down like so. And then you want to just take these panels and put them down. They don't really clip in um, just yet. So you're just going to put them down like that. And then basically that is the leg section. And then you want to just take the tab right there there's a tab slot connection right there just make sure that is connected right there and that is pretty much the legs next thing we want to do is take uh let's see here we'll take the backpack here and kind of stretch it out there and then just fold it out like that and that already forms you know a lot of the back of the vehicle there next thing we want to do is take this neck clip here and just unhinge it i don't really like this actually it's a bit unsightly and it does sort of get in the way of the robot mode head so I don't know, I think there could have been a, maybe an alternative for that, but anyways, that clips right there and that will just compress like that. So put his head down there. And already, again, you can sort of see where this is going. Um, next thing we wanna do is take the arms here and then these parts will just flip down like so. And those will, actually, sorry, let's, um, let's before we do the arms, let's take this part here and then this is on a double hinge. We're gonna actually extend that and then that will clip into that spot like that. So once you have that done, that will give us some space for the arms. Then you want to take the arms and just fold them down and they will, the arms will go under the vehicle under here, like so. And you kind of have to get the arms out of the way so there's, so there's space there. And then on the other side, we'll get the arms situated in just a sec. And then on the other side as well, kind of move the arm forward and then that just hinges down like so. And then we'll put the arms there. And then there are little holes right here on either side of the arm that will fit into clips right there. So basically, um, I'm sorry, right here, there's another clip there for the uh, for the back of the legs. Um, so basically you wanna just take that and make sure that is clipped in there. And a lot of the times it's kind of just blind. You can kind of just do it. Um, you do wanna make sure, okay, there they are, there's that side. You wanna make sure they are facing the right way and getting this side clipped in there we go so there are the arms all nice and secure back there so um yeah that's you know we're getting there we're getting there so anyways you want to take the wheels and just bring them out like so bring these wheels from the inside these are actually hidden behind the backpack again a really cool design choice of hiding the wheels on the side so they're not just sticking out so just take out the wheels for now just to get them out of the way and as you can guess you know it's just gonna go like that so basically you're gonna move that down all the feet and everything will go underneath and then these little clips on this each side um, behind the wheels are gonna slot into these little slots right here so you want to just make sure those are lined up so that's lined up that's lined up kind of give it the old squeeze there and that clips in like that and then what you want to do is just take these little side pieces that were on the legs there and then just sort of make sure they're all lined up like so and on this side as well make sure they're they do sort of clip in there there are little clips so that is pretty much the back there and then all we gotta do for the front is just make sure these front tires are clipped there's little tabs and slots right there so you want to just make sure those are clipped in those are clipped in 
like that. And again, just one more sort of final final squeeze here, making sure everything is locked in. And it is solid, the, the, the vehicle mode is very solid. Last thing you wanna do is take the sort of radar dish and just lift it up there. And then you gotta take your, um, your sort of blaster here from the shoulder blaster and then it will just clip in, in this little port right here. And then there is weapon storage. You can uh, technically fit the gun on the back here. I really don't like how this looks, but there is a port right there. So if you do want weapon storage, you can have weapon storage like that. Personally, I don't really like the way that looks. It's kind of off to the side. Um, it would have been nice. I, you know, I think there's so much room under here. I mean, not a lot, but I think they could have integrated some sort of weapon storage like this. Does that fit? I don't know. It almost looks like you can just fit it right there, but then he wouldn't be able to roll. So I don't know. Or back here maybe or something. I don't know. It just seems like there's better weapon storage than up there. So I'm going to take that off for now. And that is pretty much Soundwave in his vehicle mode. So we're gonna pause and get into his details. All right, here we have Deluxe Class Soundwave from the Reactivate series, all transformed into his armored vehicle mode here. And we have seen this sort of armored vehicle mode before, like uh, in, I think in Cyberverse and some other, uh, some other series, we've seen him change into an armored vehicle. So let's get close up on the details here. Again, a lot of this we saw in robot mode, the whole front of the vehicle there is from the robot mode there but it's cool because you can you know it's automatically recognizable as Soundwave just from the front of the vehicle there and i do love this vehicle mode it's very cool you got a lot of tons of detail on the front there you got the sort of the the um the reinforcements on the front there um and you got the armored uh, windshield there which is very cool you get some black paint for the windows there um i love like the sort of the nuts and bolts the uh details on the side of the doors there again the black and the blue work very well. That's how it looks from the back. Some nice detail there. And again, you get some nice detail for that radar dish there. And then this um, cannon can, it does have some articulation so you can up and down. That is blast effect compatible as well. So yeah, overall a very cool looking armored car, uh, armored vehicle mode. And it makes sense, you know, as the communications officer to have Soundwave having this little sort of, you know, um, rate, you know, ser um, what do you call it? <laughs> radar dish, I guess. I'm thinking serial. Um, and so, yeah, I think it, uh, I think it works very well for, you know, a communications officer such as Soundwave. So a quick vehicle comparison here. We have the Deluxe Class Decepticon crankcase here. So I sort of, you know, tried to make something fit, you know, um, fit the uh, comparison here. So that is how they look. Crankcase is a little bit shorter than Soundwave, but sort of similar in their vehicle modes. So that is how they compare. That's how a... Now he compares to a, a little bit older Deluxe Class figure. So taking away crankcase there. And let's get into my final thoughts for this Reactivate Series Soundwave. Okay, so some final thoughts for this Deluxe Class Soundwave from the Reactivate 2-pack. Um, I think this is a great figure. It's actually very interesting uh, in a lot of ways. I do like the stylization. I do like the robot mode. Like, I think the vehicle mode is a little bit stronger. Um, there are pros and cons. The Pros are the design. I really do like the design. Uh, I think the articulation is great. Um, there's some decent paint work on it. Uh, I like the stylized head sculpt and everything. Uh, cons, I would say mostly in the robot mode. I can't find anything really flawed about the vehicle mode. I think it's a pretty cool armored vehicle mode. But yeah, the robot mode, um, I think maybe the legs are too skinny. The proportions are a little bit off. The backpack is too huge. And I really do think they could have uh, taken some of that backpack and, and put it elsewhere. Uh, I think it could have been like, you know, spread out a little bit better. Um, as you can see during the transformation, there's really nothing to those legs. I think maybe some of that backpack could have been put into the legs uh, to make it a little bit more just cohesive and look a little bit more beefy. Um, he does have some skinny legs. And I, I also don't like the clip on the front here with like the, the neck clip in. It does get hindered a little bit when you're trying to pose the head and things like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, overall, I think it's a, it's a decent figure. I was always very curious about this guy. And um, I'm actually really looking for the Starscream from the Reactivate series. Again, I don't really, I think the Decepticons in this Reactivate series uh, are, they just look better than the Autobots. So I'm much more interested in getting Starscream as well. I think I might have to just pick up the two pack. I was lucky enough to get this guy, you know, loose. Uh, but anyways, yeah, overall, a, a really cool figure. It has its flaws. But, you know, what figure does it? Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Man Japan. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for more great content. Thanks a lot. Till all are one.